Our real focus in the lab here is what we call enabling technologies for MRI-guided surgical procedures. And when you're doing surgery, often um, the images are usually acquired well before the surgical procedure is performed. So by the time you get into the operating room, the images are almost what you consider stale. But currently, there's really no great way to do a surgical procedure inside the MRI scanner. What we're trying to do is create robots that fit inside the scanner board, don't interfere with the MRI itself, and allow us to manipulate surgical tools while getting real-time imaging. Imaging inside an MRI while moving an actuator is very difficult because most actuators involve some variety of electromagnetic radiation. In order to get a good image, you need to have very little or no noise, and our system doesn't have any noise at all. All right, so what we're trying to do here is we want to take the electrode and we're going to put it you know, right into the brain here. The robot that we built, it incorporates these sensors and actuators that we've been developing. So this is an all-plastic robot. It's powered by ceramic motors using uh, controllers that we've developed here in the lab that are designed to give very low noise and high precision motion. So what this lets us do is be able to move this manipulator um, to align the electrodes without interfering with the scanner at all. So the two main applications of this research are for uh, MRI-guided uh, prostate biopsy and brachytherapy, and then also trying to do deep brain stimulation under MRI image guidance. So although some of the immediate applications really just offer you know, small improvements over existing types of procedures, we really see this research in the future just opening the door to a whole new range of applications in medical devices and possibly beyond.